Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem and get all the possible solutions. Actually, we have 3x to the power of 1 over 2, which will be equal to x. Now, without opening this bracket or eliminating this power, you can divide both sides by 3, right? Okay, and to eliminate the power, this is what I will do. Now, I will raise this again to the power of 2. And in that case, the right-hand side will be raised to the power of 2. So that's from here. 2 can cancel itself. And we have 3x to the power of 1, which is the same thing as 3. This will now be equal to x to the power of 2. And now we have a quadratic equation. By the way, we can turn it around so that we have x to the power of 2 equal to 3x, right? Now, you're going to be wrong if you cancel 1x from here and cancel this. Because this is a quadratic equation where you have three, so, um, two solutions, right? So this is what you should do. x squared minus 3x equals 0. And from here, we can apply factorization method because we have x here and x here. If we factor out the x, here we have 1x minus here we have 3. And this will be equal to 0. So that's from here. x is either equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0. Because I need to apply difference of two square, um, zero product rule. Okay. And then if we continue, then we have x to remain 0 on this side. Or x to be equal to 0 plus 3, which is 0. Therefore, we have x to be 0 or 3. But then, let's put this into the original equation and see what we we'll have. Okay, so here is the original equation. And we have our x to be equal to 0 or 3. So if you put in 0, that means we have 0 multiplied by 0. Okay, to the power of 1 over 2, will that be equal to 0 for x? Yes, because 0 times 0 is, um, 3 times 0 is 0, 0 to the power of 1 over 2 is still 0. So we have 0 here, which is equal to 0 here, meaning that x is equal to 0 satisfies the equation. Then if I put in the value of x as 3, then I'm going to have 3 multiplied by 3, now, the whole of this is raised to the power of 1 over 2. And then on the right hand side, we are supposed to have x. And x now is 3. Okay, so x is now 3. The question is, will this be equal to 3? And I think the answer should be yes, because 3 times 3 here is 9. And then we have 9 to the power of 2. Now, remember that 9 to the power of 2 is the same thing as 9 to the power of 1 over 2 is the same thing as square root of 9. And that will still give us um, 3, which is what we have on the right hand side. So this is a confirmation that x to be equal to 3 also satisfies the given equation. Thank you for watching. And if you've learned something, please share this video.